Hello, brothers and friends of Fiji. I'm J.B. Gall, Director of Chapter Services for Phi Gamma Delta, uh, coming to you for the March 2010 Friday Letter Video Blog. I'm speaking to you today in the first floor boardroom in the International Headquarters building. Uh, some viewers with a keen eye who have also visited the International Headquarters have noticed in the last three uh, video blogs that a portrait of Scoop Wilkinson has been hanging behind me. If you visited the fraternity headquarters, you'll know on the second floor in our fraternity boardroom and library, uh, there are two portraits, one of Scoop Wilkinson and one of Bill Zerman, uh, who respectively were the first and second executive directors of Phi Gamma Delta. Uh, Scoop Wilkinson is an Ohio Wesleyan brother, and unfortunately the Ohio Wesleyan chapter is closed right now, but since the chapter has been closed, uh, the, bro the house corporation at Ohio Wesleyan has brought the portrait, their portrait of Scoop Wilkinson here uh, to be kept at the fraternity headquarters in safekeeping. So we've uh, hung it here in the first floor boardroom and it's made a great addition to the room. Uh, so thank you to those viewers out there who've noticed the portrait. We haven't moved it. An interesting fact too is that in the, uh, in the, the fraternity's portrait of Scoop, he's wearing a purple tie. And then in the Ohio Wesleyan portrait of Scoop, which they're exactly the same except for the tie colors, Scoop is wearing a blue tie in the Ohio Wesleyan version. I've got three important things I'd like to speak with you about this month. The first being uh, the fraternity's partnership with the Red Cross. Uh, the Red Cross was adopted a couple years ago as our official uh, philanthropy partner throughout the fraternity. Uh, seizing on that opportunity with the upcoming Ecclesia to be held this summer at the end of July, the host committee, which is a group of graduate brothers in the Phoenix area uh, have been coordinating some things, some additional activities to go on within the uh, legislative, with, outside the legislative activities of the Ecclesia. One of those is going to be a blood drive. On the primary arrival day for the Ecclesia, which is Thursday, uh, you can, you'll have the ability to check into the hotel, check into the fraternity office, and then go ahead and participate, participate in the blood drive. We have uh, a number of great people uh, who will have the opportunity to give blood, people in the Phoenix area, brothers uh, coming to Phoenix for the Ecclesia. There will be a link on the website once we get the Ecclesia registration up and running within the next two weeks. You'll be able to find out more information for that. The second is our fraternity badge. Uh, with the way uh, our society has uh, become a little bit more casual, uh, there aren't as many opportunities, I think, as there used to be uh, to wear our badge, and, and I've noticed, and some other people throughout the fraternity have noticed, that there have been some recent occasions where uh, brothers have not been wearing the Brit badge properly or in the proper place where they're supposed to be wearing it. You'll see today I have my badge on. I'm, I'm wearing it on my shirt uh, with a tie and with the point uh, going over my shoulder. Uh, some brothers have been mistakenly wearing it uh, as a lapel pin or uh, straight up and down on their shirt. Uh, your chapter should have uh, the exact dress code that, you, that they prescribe that you wear the badge with. Uh, oftentimes, it's at least with a dress shirt and tie on and, and, and a sport coat, too, sometimes. But it definitely is not a lapel pin, and it should be worn on uh, your shirt, uh, and preferably with a tie. The uh, chapter pledge pin, the white star, is a lapel pin. It should be worn on the lapel of a coat. Uh, most sport coats have a little slot there uh, that you would, you would, is already there for you to wear a lapel pin through or in the same place if you're going to a formal event where a, a boutonniere might be attached. So uh, important things that you need to make sure that you educate your chapter on. The final thing is a list of fraternity events that are coming up. As you know, in March and April, we're in the thick of uh, spring pig dinner season. Uh, so I will list off for those that are coming up. I'll also put at the end of the video blog uh, the dates and uh, chapters of all of these. So if you didn't catch it, you'll see it again. Uh, but coming up this weekend, the weekend of the 20th, uh, Saturday, March 20th, Rose Holman pig dinner, Richmond, Virginia pig dinner, our University of Richmond Pig Dinner, the University of Georgia Pig Dinner, and then this whole weekend we have the University of North Carolina Wilmington Chartering 
in uh, Wilmington, North Carolina. Next weekend on the 27th of March, Tennessee Pig Dinner, the Colorado School of Mines 25th Pig Dinner, and uh, the, the College of Charleston Chartering. Then uh, the weekend, there's no uh, fraternity events on the Easter weekend, which is the first weekend of April. And then April 10th weekend, we have uh, Missouri State Pig Dinner, Illinois Wesleyan Pig Dinner, East Carolina, our colony there in Greenville, North Carolina, their first pig dinner. DePauw University uh, in Greencastle, Indiana, their pig dinner on the 10th. Bucknell's pig dinner. And then uh, on the weekend of the 17th, we've got Wittenberg, Wisconsin, William Jewell, Memphis, James Madison, Evansville, Auburn, University or uh, Arizona State, and Bowling Green. So we've got a lot of pig dinners coming up. We'll have more to report at our next uh, on our next Friday Letter video blog. I mentioned the two charterings. We also have uh, uh, the weekend of April 10th. We have the University of Pennsylvania, our rechartering at the Beta chapter of Phi Gamma Delta, and then on May 1st, Founders Day weekend, we have the chartering of the Chi Eta chapter, or what will be the Chi Eta chapter at Western Kentucky University in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Speaking of Founders Day, uh, now is the time to start planning ahead, and, and Founders Day falls on a Saturday this year, so that's a perfect opportunity. What is your chapter, or what are you going to do to give back to our community, or to do something to celebrate Founders Day? So uh, There will be a lot of pig dinners, or a lot of graduate events that happen on, pig, on May 1st, but uh, you should think, you should work with your chapter to think of, is there something that we can do to give back to our university, or give back to our community on that day? Uh, to celebrate what we're so excited for as we move into uh, the 162nd year of the fraternity. So hope that you have a great rest of the March. Uh, good luck on filling out your brackets and your March Madness uh, competitions, and we'll see you next month.